So we'll start by creating the basic shape of the room. Shift right click here and select poly options cube, reset the tool, enter 150 for the width, 15 for height and 150 for depth and now click anywhere. And snap the pivot to the bottom. In order to do that we'll press and hold D and V click on the y-axis and middle click on any of the vertices on the bottom row. I will snap this to the origin by pressing and holding X and middle clicking to the origin. I'll just cut a hole for the stairs. In order to do that <coughs> we'll insert two edge loops here and two edge loops here. So shift right click insert edge loop tool one here, one here another one here and one here. Select the middle face, shift right click and extrude it a little bit and hit delete. So now if we look at it from the inside this is what we have which is close to what we want I think. We're gonna make a corner here up there by inserting more edge loops here. So we go to the insert edge loop tool and insert edge loop here, here, select this vertex and, and we'll snap it to this one and to this. That way we'll have an L-shaped corner now. So just select the bottom vertices and hit merge vertices. Now you should have one vertex rather than multiple vertices in the same position. So we'll insert a couple of windows here and here. So we'll insert some edge loops right about here and here. Sorry, we'll undo that. Here and here instead. That's it. So we'll insert another edge loop and another one. Another one. here and there will be the space for one big window right there and it will all start to make sense now so we'll select these faces select this one, this one there, shift right click hit extrude face and we'll extrude them a little bit and hit delete that way we have some holes for windows I'll just extrude a little I just extruded a little bit too much so I'm gonna move them back a little bit like this That definitely looks better. Now we'll add some walls here. So in order to do this, we're gonna have to select these faces here and extrude them. And we'll just move them out like this. Now we merge these faces with this one here. Sorry we need to undo what we just did. Select these faces and hit delete. 
and same for these ones. So we'll select this edge, shift right click and select bridge. Select this edge and this edge. Select these edges and hit G. And G. There we are. Now we have what we want. We'll delete these two faces, then select this one, extrude the face, and snap it here. Select these vertices, shift right click, and merge vertices. We may have a double face here, so we'll just delete one. in case we didn't have a double face. However, we didn't want that face to be there anyway. We'll insert an edge loop here, select this face and extrude. Move it a little bit and snap it to this vertex here. Go to face mode, select hidden faces there and hit delete because we don't want this one. So now select these vertices <coughs> and select merge vertices. That way everything is solid. Select these faces, extrude them, and snap them here. In the same way, go here and select these faces here, and delete, because we don't need them anymore. Select these vertices here and just click Merge. Okay, we have a problem going on here, so in order to fix it, we're going to have to shift right click, soften harden, and select harden edges. Then select wireframe on shaded. and have a quick look around. So this will be our basic room shape and uh, in the next video we'll add more details. Keep watching.